Imagine you are a muffin. Which ingredient are you missing? Serotonin. Putting their height. Green! Green. <laughs> but lying about their height. Red. Red. <laughs> you know what? I love yes. dick. You know what? I'm so sorry. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> My responses were not yes. as good as I think. The queen of dating on a Ramble. Pretty basic. Thank you to Living Proof for sponsoring this episode of Pretty Basic. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pretty Basic. We have uh, Miss Remy Ashton here in the studio. Everyone, Yay! round of applause. <laughs> Cooking with Remy Extraordinaire. We love when you cook, bitch. Oh my God, stop. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love my fans. And we have <laughs> Alicia Marie in the oh house. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> How have you been? I've been great. Good. Me too. Really, you're supposed to ask how you really been. No, how have you really been? Great. Same. <laughs> so um, we are fresh off our last episode, which was a bit of a heavy one. It was a bit of a heavy one. Mm -hmm. um, if you're watching the YouTube of this, you can maybe tell that I cried all my makeup off. So I had to try to fix it. And I was like, thank God I brought a hat today. <laughs> but the whole point was like to not have to address that we just recorded that and I sobbed my eyes out. So does that defeat the purpose of how long I spent on my makeup and the hat and everything? You know what's Probably. so funny? I was going to tell you while you're fixing it. I was like, oh, we can just like tell them. And and I was like, no, she's not going to want to tell them. Oh. And then we told them. <laughs> it's fine. But I will say, if you did listen to that episode, I am feeling way better. It does help just to get it off your chest, you know? Um, and since that was such a, shall we say, deep episode, a heavy episode. Heavy, sad, we need some. We need some laughter in this world. We need some, um, just some joy. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I love. Joy to the world. Yes. Dick. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about dating. Yay! <laughs> I wasn't kidding, but we really are going to talk about <laughs> dating today because someone here in the room is back on the dating apps. I wasn't going to make it a big deal, but like we can do that. You know, what's like so funny. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even hear from you. I heard from like three other people, which really? then made it a bigger deal. <laughs> Wait, from like who? you never told me uh, from Tommy, from oh. Ollie. And then uh, Tommy heard through Abigail. So like I heard through Abigail oh, from Tommy. So, okay. Okay. Okay, um, okay. Oh, and Pranav, I think talking to me, but, oh, and I think someone, someone else at the beach. <laughs> what the fuck? Everyone's I think talking Morgan about my dating me. life. I'm pretty sure. But, um, yeah, you never told me, but I was like, <laughs> so okay, sorry. so all these people are, no, 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 it's fine. All these people are talking about it. So it is a thing. We are manifesting how are you feeling about everything i'm good you know what's so funny so i got off all of my dating apps for a very long time because i was like you know what I'd how long like mm, honestly like probably five months wow like maybe even six months maybe that's what i've been missing yeah. <laughs> maybe that's what i've been missing imagine all of a sudden just whoo, like flooded back <laughs> maybe you never know you never know until you know and I remember at the point I was like, you know what? I just want to meet someone in person. I hate the dating apps. Like I'm over them. I just don't vibe with them. It's fine. I'm just going to accept that. Pause them all, like delete them all and live my life. And then clearly I've been trying to live my life. And I was really like, but it's fine. <laughs> so then the other night I was like, you know what? It's time. How else am I going to meet anyone? I was going to say, can I be honest? Always, bitch. You've always had a negative connotation with dating apps. And bitch, it's time to get with the times. We're not getting any younger. It's time to get on and start sliding in. And you know who else I've met from the internet? My best friends. See? See, I mean, I think that I've, I've always thought dating apps, in my head, if you would ask me before I started dating like dream scenario would you want to meet on a dating app no but I also realized like I met so many guys at bars at parties through friends that were significantly worse significantly <laughs> shittier significantly <laughs> horribly worse than the ones that I met through the dating apps or honestly just like equal sometimes so like to me I was like you know what it's See, fine. Let's give it a try. For me, it wasn't so much or isn't so much that I don't want to say that I met someone from the dating app. I mean, bitch, I've, like, that doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. For me, it's more just like, oh, it just gives me anxiety. I overthink what I'm saying. Like, you have to go meet in person. There's this pressure, blah, blah, blah. But then again, I was like, okay, how else are we going to meet anyone, Alicia? Clearly, how how else? It's not like I go up to guys at bars. No. Uh, well, it's like, even <laughs> if you met a guy 
through a mutual friend or you met a guy at a bar or you met a guy on a dating app, you know, regardless, you have to do the first date dance with all of yes, them. Yes, so yes, if that's yes. what you're dreading, like buckle up, bitch, it's happening. I know. So I had that talk with myself and I was like, let's restart them all. You know, like let's get, you've met Cal on a dating app. Ashley and her boyfriend met from a dating app. Like yes. there are good guys out there who are on dating apps, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I muster up the courage. I read, I go to my app store, re, you know, a little cloud, I hit download again, <gasps> download time. again. And then I go and I open my hinge. That's the first one. I was like, let's just ease into it. Instead of doing all of them, let's just like re-download one. Okay. Download hinge, come to find out I never paused that one. <laughs> so <gasps> it's just been there the whole time. Are you on Raya? I am. Do you, are you back on it? So that one I never, I paused, but I never- um, We even like started del- back up I again? I didn't delete it because I didn't want to like lose the application, but someone mentioned you don't lose it or I don't know. I'm just thinking about the fact that I've never gone through your Raya before and I'm so curious who's on there these you days. Go, we can go yes. on. Can I go through it yeah. right now? I've never done this before ever, Raya specifically. I, Why have I not? Who's on the app? Wait, did you ever have a Raya? I did. That's where I met Turtle Dude. Oh, duh, 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 duh. So, oh duh. wait, see, I think I need to re-download a her. Because when I got my phone stolen, half of them didn't download. Five hundred dollars now or never. Now or never. <laughs> so, um, fuck yeah, let's go. I'm handing her my phone. Hit reactivate re- my re- profile. Reactivate profile. <gasps> Cute. No, no, no. no. I th- this gives me so much. I hate when friends look at like my dating profiles. So just like, <gasps> just change whatever. Don't overthink it. Just like whatever. I hate it. Please Ooh, don't read messages. <laughs> I won't read messages. I'm gonna uh, heart him. How does this work? Oh, oh, no. Describe what you're seeing. You don't have to say their name. Um, I'm seeing a guy who says he's 28 and he's dead. Uh, no, he's not. That guy is not 28. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that guy is not he looks 28. 38. This is what we're working with. Don't lie, Keith. No. What are, no, what are your, no, what are your, um, like physical attributes or just things that you look uh, for? Okay. For everyone who's wondering what is Alicia's type? Here's the thing too. I'm open. Okay. The type open. Um, she's open, man. She's open. But typically I've never really been into blonde guys. Wait, just, I'm, I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. Why do all of these guys on Raya say here just for friends? You can have a thing that says just for friends. Oh. They're trying to also make it like a networky thing. I appreciate the honesty. Exactly. I do. It's really nice. Exactly. Okay, continue on. In case you've ever wondered what Alicia's um, type in men are, let's just say, you know, granted, my type's open. You know, I'm all about personality for one, which is why I hate the fucking apps because it's hard to tell someone's personality from the fucking apps. So personality what? But just based off looks, I've never been into blondes really. Um, I think my first crush ever, I was like in kindergarten, he was a blonde, but other than that, I've always been attracted to brunettes. Um, brown hair, brown eyes, I would say. I do like some, here's the thing. Okay, I like guys with like blue or green eyes, but sometimes they creep me out. Like <laughs> sometimes when I'm lo- I'm like, sometimes they're just like too intense for me. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know if it's because I have brown eyes that I like brown eyes, like I feel safe with the brown eyes. Whoa. Um. Taller than me, oh, no. obviously. What'd you do? Uh, I said yes on a just for friends one, so just be aware of that. Sorry, <laughs> he was all, he was really. He odd. breaks my heart. I know. <laughs> okay, I went through all of them already. Yeah. Um, they have to be like assertive or like driven because clearly I'm lacking that department. Right okay, now. I was just having this conversation with Wit and Sarah the other day, and we were talking about like, what is your, what personality are you drawn to? Because I feel like I'm the one who's more outgoing and Cal's more demure. And like, let's, he wants me to like be the one in the room who's like talking all the time and he can like sit back. But some people want like, two quiet people want two quiet people or so, two loud people want two loud people. I think that's where I'm open because like my close friends are like, you're not an introvert. Like you, when you feel comfortable with people, then you're actually like an extrovert. Like you're really like talkative and stuff. That's how Cal is too. Yeah. You need a me. I feel like I need a you. Oh, she can do it all. <laughs> I need a you. I want, I want, I need someone who I can have fun with, like be my stupid self with, like mm-hmm. my sarcastic humor, mm-hmm. like, 
like I just I don't want to have to feel like I need to be someone like that so I don't know I feel like when it comes to type it's like hard I feel like you want someone who when you go to like a public function or like a an event or something like they they know people they're like talking to people like oh this is my girlfriend Alicia um introducing you or just like making friends and then like you guys can be together for that. And then when you go home, you guys both can just like be yourselves and like be joking around all the time, like just laughing. And is that, does that make any sense? Yeah. Okay. That's what I think. Oh my God. No. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. I feel like, like I don't want a manly, manly, manly man. Like they also freak me out. I don't know what that means. Like a bodybuilder kind of <laughs> Yeah. Guy? I'm not in yeah, that. Like when, that. Oh, when a guy's head is too small for his body, <laughs> it bothers me so much. That and means I, he's probably on steroids. Exactly. Though, right? But like, you know what I'm talking about? Those guys at the gym who are like, like I hate it I hate it I hate it like that's my shallow like I hate it that's okay there's someone out there who wants that exactly there's someone out there for everyone exactly I don't doubt that you will find your person soon (laughs) hopefully (laughs) but you said that three years ago I know that's why I said do you see that's why I thought about it I was gonna say this year and I was like "Eh, maybe maybe next year year. But it'll happen okay, we're, when we're, it's time. We're, no, yeah, I'm, I'm not stressed. I'm not rushing it. I love that everyone else, I've given up. Not on you, but like I've given up on talking about this really with you in, in person. You've given up on me, it's fine. No, no, no. <laughs> I just like don't want to bother you because you don't care. And I, I, was telling, like, I think I'm starting to care. Okay, good. I, was, I feel like lately I've been like, I am lonely. <laughs> good. But like you have to like, you had to get to that point yeah. to talk to yourself and yeah. figure out what you want, what you need. I was talking to Ollie about it recently and we were just like talking about like, oh, like, do you think, cause Ollie brought it up that you were going to date again. I was like, loves it. Sounds so good. Like, I was funny, like, I wouldn't know. And no, I was like, <laughs> literally, I was like, you know what I love about Alicia? I was like, she, like, there are like me being one of them. So many girls that like live to date. Like I was so boy brain. Like that's all I could think about for so long. And I think it's so refreshing and I find it really inspiring that like, that's not what drives your world because it's, you know, stop laughing. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I think just because it was such a dumb thing to stress about. Like, why am I focusing so much on someone else, whether it is dating or um, another person in my life and not focusing on me? Like, I feel like you're really good at focusing on you. No, bitch. (laughs) Per last episode, I don't focus on me. I focus on my work. I did. Okay, true. True, you know true, what true. I mean? But you're focusing on things that involve you. Yeah. Whereas like I feel when, when I was so boy driven, it was just like uh, putting all my energy into someone else. At least you're funneling. You, we need to focus more on other aspects of your life, but it's still involving yeah. your life, which no, I, is really great. That. Because it's that. so wasteful to put all your energy into someone else. But you know what's hard? It's not that I'm consciously making that decision to not like chase guys and then chase work like that's just whether it's trump like childhood trauma or whatever how you choose to deal with validation like so is it inspiring because i'm not doing anything i just think it's refreshing because most people that i surround myself with are very boyfriend love relationship driven so it's just it's just different i'm I'm like i've never met anyone like who I really enigma. doesn't care as much as you do. I mean that and not in a bad no, way. No, but then I'm going to be a crazy dachshund lady when I'm older. That's fine. That is fine. But like, is it fine? Sounds like a beautiful time. I do want to live on a farm with like 12. Do- have you seen that girl who has like eight dachshunds on TikTok? We have established we have different for you pages. <laughs> Literally. Like, honestly, I'm like, how do you do it? There's so many of There's them. There's so many. And then she feeds them. They bark, they bark, they bark. And then they run. And then they're so cute. But you then love. Like, I love it. But I'm like, damn. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm excited for your dating journey. I'm glad that you're doing it on your own time. I'm really like, I think it's really great that you tune out all the noise of people. Like people around us are truly more worried about your dating life than you are yourself. I know. It's, it stresses me It's out. Like it's kind of funny when you it think is, about it. It is because I'm like, damn. That's why I eventually just like was like, I'm not going to ask anymore because why am I caring more than she does? Like then that's a problem within itself. Mm. Let her figure it out. She'll do it when she wants if and when she wants, and that's it. I guess so. Thank you. Um, you already went on the other one, but you should go on um, Hinge because this one doesn't have a time limit. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to rate your profile. Oh, top photo, my first choice. She posted this photo on Instagram the other day, and I texted her immediately and said, please post this on your Hinge profile right now. Also, and because, then because you've had, you know, quite the luck with dating apps, I was like, oh my God, I have to do this. I'm like, <laughs> Mr. Me Ashton wanted me to, really? feel free to change anything. Okay. But oh, this this is what I, I don't, I don't love this, but it's okay. <laughs> oh no. I'm looking for 
someone very confident in their cuddle skills. Cuddle. She likes to cuddle. I do. I'm a physical touch bitch. I think it looks good. I mean, the thing is with dating apps, and I know that you are like so personality driven, very cute. Love the dog with the pool. She reads. <laughs> she likes going outside. She can snowboard. It's perfect. Wow. Thank you. I think it looks great. Not me. You can tell I'm uncomfortable. No, it was <laughs> good. I'm sitting. Nothing to say. Nothing <laughs> to say. Like, uh, I think like the thing with dating apps is like, obviously, if you're looking for anything other than a fuck buddy, you want to get there. You want to like understand their personality. You want to get to know them first, but you can't on a dating app. Dating apps, the first thing is just attraction. I know. Physical attraction. I know. So that's just it. So if you're okay with that, then be on a dating app. If you truly want to get to know someone's personality. For, but no, not even. Because if you did meet someone through a friend, you would ask, can I see a picture? Yeah. Like it's all dating right off the top is physical attraction. And then after that, you get like, that's why I believe in lust at first sight. Yes. Not love at first sight. Same. I agree. I agree. Because you have to get to know someone to love them. But like you can be physically attracted to someone from a picture. Oh, totally. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> she goes, but anyways, thank you so much for listening. You guys, I walked outside this morning and I'm not kidding you. It was in the 90s. Like it is so hot. Summer is here. Warm weather is here. The only thing that I dislike about the summer months is uh, the fact that my hair gets a little extra frizzy and uh, a little extra oily. You know what I mean? Now, as much as I love being outside during summer, uh, the chances of my hair getting a little extra brittle, going through a little, a little extra trouble, uh, definitely goes up quite a bit. But thankfully, Living Proof has all of the products to protect hair from the sun rays and against frizz or damage too. Founded by a team of scientists and hair experts, each Living Proof product is formulated to solve the toughest hair problems, not conceal them. You guys know I love Living Proof. From the dry shampoo, the volume texture spray, the shampoo and conditioner that I literally just used 20 minutes ago when I was washing my hair in the shower. <laughs> Any and all of their products I am obsessed with. There's also no one-size-fits-all solution for hair types and textures, so that's why I love Living Proof, and they have an awesome online quiz to help you find and fix your problems. And if you want to live it up even more this summer, Living Proof's Restore Perfecting Spray and Restore Repair Leave-In each strengthen and protect hair from UV rays and no frizz humidity, shields from hair and humidity, and the sun's rays. Protect your hair this season with Living Proof. Visit livingproof.com slash basic10 and use basic10 to get 10% off your first purchase. That's livingproof.com slash basic10, code basic10. Code basic10 for 10% off your first purchase. livingproof.com slash basic10, code basic10. Since you are the dating app queen, obviously, what are tips you would give people for their dating app profiles? Ooh. Because I feel like I don't know what to say because I'm like, <laughs> I'm awkward. But I, like, <laughs> I think no group photos. Really? Okay, well, okay. I mean, like, I think you can have, like, you and a friend, maybe you and two friends. But once you make the group too big, then it's like, which one is it? Especially if your friends look like you. Yeah. you're like, who is that? Like, Asian girls go out there probably like, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, which one? Um, and then I think I love Hinge because I really do like the prompts. I also love the voice thing they added. I, I don't know. What, like, <laughs> someone's voice can make them 20 million times more attractive. I'm like, suddenly I can picture us together. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I wish that was around. Do you have one? You don't know. No, have I haven't added one, which I'm not opposed to, but I just like hearing other people's voices. Like, what you can, you, What's the best voice memo that you've heard? So in case you don't know, Hinge now has like a voice memo response that you can add like of you talking. This guy, I obviously had to have replied or something. I don't think we've matched. I need to check. But he like was singing something and it was the way that I like sing shit. Oh, and I that's was like, funny. Oh, yes. Like it was, you could tell he was being funny. So I yeah. liked that a lot. I think like the best part about Hinge specifically is that they have those prompts, which I feel like that is why they have such a high return rate or with relationships and things after, because that's the only way that you can truly get to know someone a little bit further on a yeah. dating app, more than just photos. So I feel like if you have good prompts and that's where you can showcase, like if I think that's where you showcase what's important to you and what you're looking for. So you want someone that has a similar sense of humor to you. Mm -hmm. So you should showcase your humor in your prompts so that if someone gets it, then they get it. And you guys, you can right off the bat know you guys have some sort of similar sense of humor. Yeah. Or whatever's important to you. If you really love like, uh, philanthropy work if you love playing chess whatever like share those things then you're more able to weed through everybody else there was something recently a guy was like you should definitely not go out with me if blank and I forget what it was but I was like well that's a no but like it was good. so obvious I was like and that's a no and that's like I don't know what it was but at least it, they're upfront about it I like that looking for friends thing yeah I feel like that's good I think just being the most upfront right off the bat it saves everybody's time 
and everybody's feelings. It's and so all much work. And effort. That's the thing about like first dates though. Like within the first five, 10 minutes, I can tell if I'm like attracted to someone. And if you're not, you're like, oh, I wasted all this time and energy and effort to come here and just be like, oh, I'm not that into it. No, because what if you just are looking for a friend after? See, but I don't think that way. And I probably should. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like 99.99% of the time. It's not going to be the person for you. And then also like 75% of the time, you might not even be attracted to them, but you can find something in that. I know. That's interesting, I just need to ch- change my mindset. Cause in my head, I'm like, Oh, there's a waste of time, no. but it's not, I'm learning. I'm growing. It's never a waste of time. Yeah. Even if you, you getting out of the house, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a bitch. at least you got out of the house. I it. That's great. You got something to do on a Tuesday night. Yeah. 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 What's like a, what would you say is something, a mistake you made in the beginning? I'm like curious. We haven't talked about this in a long time. You're like nothing. It was, <laughs> it was amazing. No, I think I would troll too hard in the beginning. <laughs> what do you mean? I would just like troll and not take it seriously. Um, and they couldn't tell if you were being serious or not? I think no. I think just like I trolled too hard and like what could have been something good. I just like <laughs> was digging around the whole time. <laughs> Which obviously it all led me to here, but I feel like, I don't know, because I, I, I think me trolling is wasting someone's time. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like, I feel like you have to be respectful of other people's time. Granted, I know it's just a dating app. It's like fun. Sometimes people are just looking for validation. People are just looking to talk. But. Oh, the amount of times where I'm like, I need someone to tell me I'm pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I got my fucking dating apps. I'm like, oh my God, look at all the. <laughs> I never had, like, I never thought about it that way personally. Oh my but God. But I know you and I know Ollie do. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's all I need. <laughs> and As I look fucking ugly ass fetus, like a toe, like my hair is like up, no makeup. And I'm like, <laughs> delete. I think, um, I don't know. I really like, I, I loved the dating app experience. I really did. What I struggle with sometimes, and this also just adds to me being overwhelmed by it all. I struggle so much when someone says something and I have no idea what to reply to it. Yeah. Like that where I'm like, and then in my head, I have five different versions and I'm like, Alicia, just stop overthinking. What would you like normally you, text back? You do overthink. I do. I overthink so much. So I feel like that's what's hard is like, even if they send something, I don't know. That's what I really struggle with. I think if you overthink it, you should go to your first reaction that you came up with because that's the most genuine thing that you would have said in a normal conversation. Yeah. And that's how you form a nice, natural, actual, real connection with someone is you being your genuine, authentic self. So yeah. you're just going to say what comes to mind. Granted, we should filter it if it's not something good. <laughs> but like, you know, if it's a hey, and then you're like, oh my God, I don't know what to say. It's a hi, yo. You know what I You're overthinking. Yeah. Like, what would you say in real life? Treat it like a real life conversation. Like, so. Then say that. You know, like, say whatever you want because you're trying to find your other half or just someone that you will like, whether it's just go on a first date with, have a real relationship with, be your fucking soulmate, you marry whoever it is. Like you want to just form a real connection and again, not waste someone's time or waste your own time. Yeah. So I pride myself on being good with conversations on dating apps oh, because you- I love small talk personally. I hate it. I know it. you hate it. I'm just like, it's, it's fun to like talk to people. So I'm the friend that still to this day, people text me like, oh my God, I, what do I say back to this yeah. person? What do I do that? So we thought it'd be fun because I know a lot of people, there are times where I struggle too, obviously, but <laughs> it's like a fun game for me now where we have some prompts of like, if people were to message things to you on dating apps, how do we reply? And I will be here to help you because Amazing. Cal, I love you so much, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is all in respect of Cal. Obviously. <laughs> There's been a few times where I'm like, oh, I kind of like miss just like being on dating apps. Alicia, can I just like go on yours? It was I'm like, like, sure. Like it means nothing. It's just yeah. like a fun game. It is like, a, it's like a game before yeah. going to bed. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll make Cal get a dating app and I'll get a dating app and we only match each other. We can just message on Hinge. There you go. Wait, that'd be funny. Oh, you should do like some role play shit. That's funny as fuck. Okay, I'll get back to you on that. (laughs) All right. We said, send us dating app messages that you don't know how to respond to. We sent this on our Instagram. So if you are wanting uh, to send in some questions or advice topics or whatever for another future episode, don't forget to follow us on, um, obviously, Instagram, Pretty Basic Official, as well Mm -hmm. as our TikTok, because we be posting them TikToks. We be posting them TikToks. All right, first up. Hey. Okay, I can't say anything. <laughs> She's already off. I've sent, I'm like, hi. I always think like follow up with a question back. So I'd say, hey, what's up? Hi, what are you doing? Hey, how was your day? Something just to like start the conversation. And then if they don't answer back or if it's boring and it's one-sided, then next. <laughs> <laughs> then next. next. Thoughts? Comments? Concerns? Agreeance? You? 
I picture this combo being like, hey, hi, how are you? Good. How's your weekend? Good. Like, <laughs> I, and I hate it. But like that, you have to get through those few. I know. Like, the, I know. The I know. nuance. And then like, maybe they're like, I went skydiving. You're like, oh my God. So that's a good I've tip. I've always wanted to go skydiving. I'll say that's something that has helped me a lot. Like even in person, just with people. Like be honest when you answer stuff. Like instead of just being like, <laughs> instead of saying good when you're not, granted it's a dating app, so don't be like, oh, I've been depressed. <laughs> I've been <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's been pretty horrible. Wait, can you try doing that to one? Oh, I'm person? down. <laughs> when he sends a novel back, and I'm like, "Where's all But that'd be so see. Yeah, you know, or, or just no reply. Oh, it's red, <laughs> red Saturday. Left on soon. <laughs> um, yeah, like being open and like be willing to share. Like be willing to share anything. Like even if you tried a new restaurant, you'd be like, "Oh my god, good! I just got back from this restaurant with my friend." Like it's fine to overshare that way. Like don't, but obviously don't overshare your whole life story in the first one, unless you're me and you're going to say that you're depressed just to see what someone says. Or do. Or do. But yeah, like be willing and open to share. If you literally said, I'm depressed to this guy and he like came back with the most incredible response, I would be. You'd be like, marry him. Oh my God. That'd be so, that'd be amazing though. Marry me. That's great. Okay. Next one. <laughs> Imagine you are a muffin. Which ingredient are you missing? Serotonin. <laughs> I was going to say for you, the egg, it keeps everything together. I would say, what am I missing? Oh my God. Mm. Like what's something cute to say back to that? Mm. A cuddle buddy. I was going to say, were you going, well, no, you need a, we're making a muffin. A muffin. muffin. <laughs> What'd you say? Um, something fruity. Some lemon. I need a little zest in my life. Oh, that's good. Thank you. What kind of uh, poppy seed? I was going to say poppy seed. But <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where I'm going with that? No. Next one. <laughs> okay. Tell me about yourself. <sighs> Tell me about yourself. It's funny because <laughs> I asked. <laughs> Watching this back is so funny. No, this is why I just like, I'm like, oh, it's so much work. Okay, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Okay. <laughs> tell me about, about yourself. yourself. <laughs> See, I hate, if someone, I blank. It's an elevator pitch. I know, I don't know. <laughs> I would be like, I grew up in Orange County. And then when I went to college, ended up uh, pursuing YouTube, dropped out. And then I've been in LA the past few years. And now I get to... You know, see that's this, so. That. See, in my head, I'm like, okay, do I go into the YouTube thing? Do I not go into the YouTube thing? How do I not talk about the YouTube thing? Because that's basically my whole life. And like, what if? How do I? Oh, I was in band once. Like, <laughs> you could do that. Yeah, I, I mean, was a band geek, and then one day, see, like, it just, it doesn't. I just tell, and again, tell me about yourself. It doesn't have to be a a novel. It could just be a um, short spark notes. Just fucking <laughs> you. I grew up in Moreno Valley. Um, I went to school, ended up dropping out. Now I'm doing YouTube full time. I've been doing it for like 14 years now. It's been crazy to see the everything change and how it has. And now I'm doing this and now I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh at your depression. I might. No, no, it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I should repause. <laughs> <laughs> no this is so easy you can well you can either go that well that's just like your life story tell me about yourself or you could just be like I grew up I, I, I was in the band I loved playing in band I played this instrument and like music's always been a really big part of my life I have a sister see if this was in person it would be so much easier for me to do well but, pretend like you're in person and then just write it down okay tell me about yourself <laughs> oh I can't Alicia Marie I'm, there's like four cameras on me five including you that was gonna say <laughs> One, two, three. There's only oh, three. Yeah. There's three. <laughs> Next one. Let's let's move oh, on. Oh, I'm I'm. There's I no just, hope. I'm so. I there's truly no like. Hope. Bitch, it was. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> okay. Next one. I'm free at date. Want to go out? First question. Do you want to or no? So decide that in your head. <laughs> yes or no. If you want to say, yeah, I love, I love also when there's like very, like there should be minimal conversation before the first date. But I don't like, I didn't like the back and forth and back, like long novels kinda, because then you don't have anything saved for the date. I'm not going to lie. I love a straight to the point, like, hey, like, would love to grab drinks. Like, I love that because I don't like the small talk back yeah. and forth. So, like, there was even a guy last week who was like, hey, like, I'm just going to cut to the chase. Like, I'd love to meet up in person. Da, 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 da. And I was like, yes, would love. Um, Did we go? 
No, because it didn't. I was gone and he was gone at the same time. Mm. So I was like, okay. You should follow back up. I should. So I should. Back. I would. But yeah, so I don't mind a, a straight to the point, like, would love to. So I'm free at this date. Want to go out? Yes. My only thing is, is I hate when it's so last minute. Like, it, this might be an ego thing, but I'm like, even if I'm free the next day, like, I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, I'm free tomorrow night. Like, I want to, like. Like, making yourself too available. Yeah. Yeah. I love what Cal did. Cal and I talked uh, through, the like, the hinge prompt on like um, maybe like a Wednesday or so. And then uh, we had like a little small talk back and forth. And then at the end, like by Friday, he was like, hey, next next Friday. So a week in See, advance. I love that. He's like, next Friday, are you free? Do you want to grab a drink? And I said, yeah, sure. That sounds good. And then the whole week goes by Thursday, the day before he followed up again. He was like, hey, just checking. Are you still good for tomorrow? Yes, he, but we should, didn't talk all that time. And if that person doesn't follow up the day before, do not go. Don't count on it because otherwise you will be doing your makeup halfway and then realize this is it's not, not happening. happening. Oh, I had this so many times. It, it sucks. sucks. It sucks. So put those boundaries where you're like, okay, if I don't hear from them by X, Y, Z, then I'm not going to waste a night. Totally. Or if they do reach out, be like, oh, sorry, I didn't hear from you. So I made other plans. I don't think there's a problem also following up the morning of and being like, hey, just checking. Are we still, are on? We still yes. on? Yes. If they don't reply then, then don't waste your breath. Now, if you don't want to go on the date, uh, I mean, I don't have any advice other than, I mean, I know I personally would just ghost. Like if someone said I'm free at blank, want to go out, I just wouldn't reply. I'm not going to be like, no. Yeah. Obviously to match on the app, there had to be some sort of yeah, like some sort of attraction between the two. So I can't, I can't imagine if someone had asked me on the dating app to go for a drink. Like I would have given anyone a chance personally, but maybe because I was desperate, but also <laughs> like, you know, you can also just say no politely or say, don't reply. There have been a few times though, where at first I'm interested and then they're too much. They're texting, like they're messaging mm. too much. And then they like, and then I get weird out. So then I, but then I just ghost. And I don't know if that's good advice or bad advice. You can also just, say like, you're out of town. You're now in a relationship or you're seeing someone. Oh, the amount of times I'm like, sorry, my boy. I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm yeah, like boyfriend. that's the point. We're on a dating app to find most likely find a relationship. So it's like, sorry, I'm actually seeing someone now. Yeah. I do that all the time. Yeah. Okay. This one says, you're so beautiful that you made me forget my pickup line. <laughs> I would be like, y did you copy and paste this from your last <laughs> one? <laughs> I was going to say unpopular opinion or maybe popular opinion. I think pickup lines are so stupid. I just, in my head, I'm like, I know you've used this on everyone else. Like, I don't feel special. It really is a copy paste. It's a copy. It's a copy paste. Copy paste. Which like, it's cute. I would reply and say, how many girls do that work on? Yes. <laughs> if you feel like replying. If not, I'm not a huge fan of like a Sometimes I do like trolling guys. Like... <laughs> There was one guy who said something so douchey, so I said the worst thing back. But I, I was just like, fuck you, dude. Like, I was Good. just like, but it was funny. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> Got validation. It scratched that itch. It did. I was like, oh, that's all I needed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You want to know what's beautiful? Read the first word again. So again. Me, I would not reply. I wouldn't reply, especially because I've seen this before. Like, yeah. I've had this sent to me. And I'm like, okay, y'all think you're, what, what TikTok did you see? To me, hot take. A pickup line is worse than a hey. Yes. <laughs> okay, really? Yes. I think it's just so. Yes. Because hey, it's fine. We say hi to everyone. Hold it's on. polite. Let's go through some of the things guys have sent me. It's well-mannered. A copy paste pickup line. Lazy. I put um, something I'm looking for. Someone very confident in their cuddle skills. He goes, weird. I got runner up at the cuddling world champs in 2015. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> See, that's funny. <laughs> he looks funny. Be like, oh my God, show me your trophy. 2015. That's a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Someone replied, put me down as <laughs> little spoon. See? <laughs> See? I will say the snowboarding pick is a fan fave. Oh yeah, for sure. You're like, not like other girls. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this guy, Matthew says. Okay, hold on, I have something. When I see a paragraph, I get freaked out right away. Which no, is, I don't feel the same way. So, okay, that's good. Like, like that's not a bad thing, Alicia, but when it's, I just get overwhelmed. <laughs> Too many words. Too many, I'm like, Too wordy. I think it depends. If it's like scary, then like it's scary. But if it's nice, then it's fine. He said, hey, I think you're cute AF. I would give you all the time and attention that you want and always treat you right. Do you whatever it took, <laughs> do whatever it took to keep you happy. Scary. I like if he was being sarcastic, like there's I, no sarcasm. In I know, no, no. It would be like in person, like it would be different. But when I see it in words in a paragraph, I'm like, that's too much. You're too much. It's you're like gonna kill me. I think even if that was sarcasm, I wouldn't think it's funny. But like, there's nothing. I do whatever. About like this. like hearing someone be like, um, I'll treat you right. You know what I mean? Like that's funny, but okay. like not like this. I don't. I'm a fan of ghosting. I'm sorry. It's my my uh, immature thing. I think in a, on an app, if you've never spoken before, ghosting is totally fine. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to let you take this one. <laughs> Are you sure? Did you watch yeah. YouTube? 
everyone. <laughs> This one says, I've never been with an Asian before. S- just reply and say, fuck your Asian fetish. Next. Thank you. Next. Next. I didn't know we were still in the gold rush with that damn wagon you sporting. If I got this, I'd be like. You'd love it. I'd love it. She'd love it. But like, I would, I like how, like, I can tell he's being funny. Yeah. You know? I think with like a pick, a cheesy pickup line, if you like it and it's not too cheesy, then you can either go like snarky back. Yeah. You can be funny back. You can just change the conversation. Like, it really depends on where you want to go with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one says, what's for lunch? With the, my favorite emoji that Alicia loves when I use. Yeah. And eye. then two melons. But, meaning boobies. Uh-huh. How would you want me to respond to that? Um, I personally would get that a lot on my dating apps I'm back sure in the day. You did. And I would say, I personally, if it were me, I just I wouldn't have responded to that because I have no desire to have a conversation with someone who objectifies me. I think what's hard with these is there's such a difference when you're in the headspace of like, oh, I just want to go hook up with someone versus like, oh, I'm looking for like real potential. That's true. Because I feel like if I was wanting like boyfriend boyfriend I w- I'd be like oh fucking fuck boy mm-hmm. with something like this but if I was like he 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 I'd <laughs> if you're looking to hook up I guess maybe that is a good way to test if someone's just down to hook up yeah great perspective no totally I mean like for me I think you can tell a lot about someone like what they're wanting with just their replies this is like such a dumb idea that I have but I correlate tinder with just fuck buddies and just hooking up or like one night stands and then I correlate hinge with actual relationships maybe because of like the marketing but I think if I got this message on hinge I'd be like man you are in the wrong place go to tinder but if I got it on tinder I'd be like let's go yeah (laughs) (laughs) I know friends who've met on tinder and they're still together and like probably gonna be engaged soon yeah um same with like other apps and stuff so i don't think too much about the apps but that i that makes sense why you think that that's always kind of how my my thought was and also hinge has changed so much or just dating apps have changed so much in the past three years that i feel like i'm very like tuned out from yeah but maybe it's changed i don't know say 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 you know what? I'm so sorry. I'm a little rusty. No. <laughs> My responses were not as good yeah, as I think. The queen of not, dating not as quite as sharp as I used to be. But now <laughs> we're going to do, obviously, we love Hinge here. Hinge, please sponsor me. I would love, please. I can give you like a whole sizzle reel if you'd like. Suddenly you met Cal on Cal Bumble. <laughs> Tinder? Did I say Hinge? We actually met on Bumble. But as we Use said. Use my link. We love the prompts on Hinge, and that is a really great way to get to know someone a little bit more at a very surface level. But coming up with prompts, prompt answers can be hard. The reason why Cal and I matched in the first place was because my Hinge prompt was name three things that you love. And I said tacos, dogs, puppies to be exact, and Chance the Rapper. And then this is when I used to love Chance the Rapper, not as much anymore. And he replied back and he said, oh my God, dogs, tacos and chance the rapper sounds like my dream girl so it was like a way but we we have that in common we love tacos we have two dogs and we did love chance the rapper still do still waiting for that comeback but (laughs) like it's a really good way to just like and then you hit it off and then you can talk about those things or like that's something to talk about on the first date so i truly believe that the prompts can really help your connection so if you're listening to this and you're on the dating apps and you're needing help with prompts or if you just want to hear what we would put maybe not the best but we'll help you out or try to here is us answering some prompts the question is I know I found the one when. Ooh, I know I've found the one when. I've got one. Daisy likes you. Oh, that's a good, if Chloe likes them. Mm -hmm. My mall, she likes you. That's what it is. She is. They are judgy, but they have good judgment. They do. Daisy only has ever liked Cal. There's so many things I'm thinking of. I think cuddling for you. Yeah, or like when they start bringing me coffee without me having to ask, I'll be mm. like, damn, I got to keep this one around. <laughs> or I mean, obviously, if I like introduce them to my mother, like, oh, God, that's the real one. Mm. That's the real one. I know I found the one when you meet my mom. Yeah. Okay. When my mom likes you. Yeah. That's not how it goes. Yeah. If that was actually on an app, I would totally put like, if my dog likes you mm. for a thousand percent. Okay. We have a few uh, responses from our followers. I know I found the one when he has a driver's <laughs> license. <laughs> Get him to drive you around, girl. I'm looking for dot, dot, dot. Someone very confident in their cuddle skills. <laughs> That's perfect. That's what's literally on mine or not. I think you can go around about this a lot of different ways. You can say, I'm looking for something specifically you're looking for. Or you could say attributes of someone that you're looking for. Like, I'm looking for someone who, someone who likes this. Yeah. Someone who does that. 
Even something cute, like I'm looking for someone to like go on the dance floor with me. Maybe you like skydiving. I'm looking for someone to skydive with me. Yeah. And then that's a good way for them to be like, oh my God, I love skydiving. Or I want to go skydiving. Yeah. And or like someone like, oh, to go on a road trip, blah, blah. Like that's something Ashley would put. Like, yes. very, like something she wants to do. Yeah. Someone to travel the world. Someone with. to finish my jokes. Someone to, like you could do a lot of like cute little things. Or you could be realistic. All right. We got responses. <laughs> I'm not looking for a man. Let's start there. <laughs> and we and have comfort. someone who says peace and comfort. I've also seen some people be straight up like, I'm actually looking for like a real like serious relationship. Yeah. Like just FYI. And like, that's such an easy way to vet out all of those like hookups. Or I'm looking for a hookup. Then yes. it's like, okay. Like I'm not that's looking not for, what I want If they say I'm not looking for anything serious, they mean they are not looking for anything serious. <laughs> Why'd you look at me, bitch? I. I <laughs> I'm the type of texter who my real answer would be overthink everything that I send. That's perfect. <laughs> I love that. No, but like, I wouldn't want to put that. Oh, I think you absolutely I, should. Because I, I overthink that, everything. No, but that's so cute. I think that's like perfect and true know, to you. But then when we're texting, I'm going to be like, does he think I'm overthinking this? No, does he know I'm overthinking <laughs> Does he know? This? That's cute. I would, I think that's really good. I would say I'm the type of texter who I'm pretty good at texting back. So maybe I'd say like responds immediately or I'd say... Who who appreciates a good gif. That's good. Like, that's easy. Um, I'm going to type a texter who sends invisible ink. <laughs> oh, my me. God. Um, or maybe who who forgets to reply, but I'll get back to you in a week or something. Yeah, funny like that. yeah, yeah. Dating me is like waiting for rain in this drought. Useless, Useless and disappointing. <laughs> Dating me is like, hmm. Ice cream on a hot summer day. <laughs> Oh my God, the first sip of coffee. Oh. Like the first sip of your iced coffee. See, that's good because you love coffee yes. and then that's perfect. Okay, I'm trying to, th I'm really rusty. I really, maybe we should cut the parts or something. I'm good at that. <laughs> um, Sorry. me is like. Like what's something that when you're like, when it happens, you're like, oh, yes. I keep thinking of like metaphors, but. Like you do lyrics, you could do a song, a poem. Imagine there's a whole a poem. Haiku. <laughs> <laughs> haiku. <laughs> haiku. Roses. Red. <laughs> We should Whether write haikus when we can pretty come in. Basic. <laughs> pretty basic. Okay. Dating me is like, what is our response? Unironically liking Glee. I love Glee. I'm a Glee too. An eight ball of mental illnesses. <laughs> They're funny. That's so good. Uh, Bailey Clark, if you want to talk about Glee, let me know. Okay. Next one. I know the best spot in town for dot, dot, dot. Lobster rolls, Lobster bitch. rolls. We that. That's good. Maybe sushi. like sushi. Anything that you love for food or maybe golfing. Honestly, though, shopping. when I do see guys mention sushi, it actually, like, I am attracted to that. Because, like, for me, I don't, I'm not a picky eater. And if I was with someone who's such a picky eater, it'd be really hard for me because I'm such a foodie. So, for me, like, I like that. Like, seeing that a guy can, like, be interested in sushi. Yeah. However, I have heard some guys will be like, oh yeah, put sushi down. Girls like that. <gasps> and I'm like, they're getting on to us. Oh my God. Wait, what was the thing that I sent you the other day where I was like, they're on to you. Oh, 11, 11. Oh yeah. It was about guys texting Yee. girls at 11, yeah, 11. And they were I'm like, like, oh they were my like, God. Hey guys, text her right at 11, 11. Oh, fuck <laughs> me up. I would be, I, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I think in that part, you should definitely put something that you are genuinely interested in, whether that's a specific food, whether that's a hobby, mm -hmm. um, just so you can connect with someone. Even like, yeah. I think sushi is good or just like- A bar, Because sushi restaurant. is our favorite food. Or is it your favorite food? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel like sushi, a lot of people like it, but there are also people who like, if you don't like it, you hate it. Yeah. And so you got to weed those out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm overly competitive about, I'll say it, Mario Kart. Being the better kisser. Mario Party. You didn't even listen to mine. Mine was good. What did you say? Being the better kisser. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> you just looked at me and said Mario Party. I was Party. like Mario Party. <laughs> but that's good. Mario yeah. Party's good. I think, um, yeah, like a cute game. Uno. Mm -hmm. Something fun. Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> Competitive. <laughs> You're like, my land's better than your yeah, land. Yeah, <laughs> I have peaches. You don't, bitch. <laughs> All right. Okay, this person said everything. And I have to be a little honest. I think... I don't love competitive people. That'd be a bit of a red flag for me. I think that's hard finding the balance of even if you're joking or even if you are competitive in a lot of things, you don't want to seem like too much. Like you're too, like you're that like you're crazy competitive about everything. But I also have to give it to them. Like they are being honest. I think of, do you know a new girl when, um, uh, no spoilers, but Winston and an ex 
Rhonda. They like prank each other. And she's like so competitive. You don't know what I'm talking about. It's so funny. No. Oh my God, it's so funny. But, but I feel like she's two competitive epit- people could be good. She is, yeah. no, she is the epitome of like that. She always has like one of him. And it's such a funny episode. But point being like, that's what I picture when I see someone competitive at everything. I'm like, that's too much. Like some people, but like some people love that. Some yeah. people want that. It sounds like a little bit hard if they're both very competitive with each other all the time but some people want that some people Mm -hmm. want to be challenged for me personally this would be a red flag yeah for me that would be a red flag if a guy said that one man's trash is another also i don't want a guy who's like trying to one-up me on things or like like actually i think like dying on a hill of a a competition over something like if someone's competitive about everything they will choose a hill to die on and it will be some sort of competition yeah. and to me nothing will ever be worth that personally yeah. because I'm not a competitive person but some people that I know are very competitive and they will choose to do that yeah and they want someone like that because they want a challenge so also, I think of like uh, crazy rich Asians the girl where she was like hiding the bags from her husband because he like felt like demasculated Hated him, but like love Gemma that's, Chan. That's a perfect segue into our game that we're gonna play today, where I'm we excited. had our listeners submit different things that they view as either red or green flags, and we are gonna hold up a red or green flag as to us individually if we think that it is a red flag or a green flag. I've been reaching for these flags this entire episode. She's wanted and to play. It's finally time. I feel like oh yeah, come on. Cal just told me he did the laundry. Oh, loves it. Love it. We love a man that helps out. Yeah, Green Cal doing the laundry. Flag. <laughs> Green flag. Him texting me. Thank you for doing the dishes, baby. I just took care of the laundry. Smiley face. Green. Green. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Putting their height. <laughs> Green. <laughs> but lying about their height. Red. Red. <laughs> I had a guy. I had a guy in person <laughs> tell me. He was like, yeah, I'm like six foot. And I was like, I'm literally <laughs> standing next to you. You are not six feet. Okay, but like sometimes let no. them have that dream. I was wearing tennis shoes. Yeah, but let them have no. the dream. I, in person, to my face. I'm like, you lie about that? What was he gonna lie about? Did you say that to him? No, I was just like, eh. I was like, there's no fucking way. I have you. There's no fucking way. Just don't lie. Like I'm standing next to you. I'm standing next to you. Have you seen, I know we've talked about this probably, the whole thing where it's like, if they say 5'11", they're completely lying because they're probably 5'9", yes. because they if they were 5'10", then they would say it's, that they're uh, 5'11", and, and then if, if they're 5'11", they'd, they'd say, say they're 6 foot. foot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Photos with your mom or grandma. Ooh. Okay. Three, two, one. Green. Oh, I I went like this. Okay. I I felt that actually. I'm kind of in between because I don't want your mom to be like a helicopter mom. Yeah. And I don't want you to be a mama's boy who's like, oh, I'm choosing my mom over you type vibes. Yeah. But also it's not a bad thing. I think green more. I'm leaning more towards green because obviously they respect them and we want them to respect women but then if later on i ended he was like like a mama's boy too much it wouldn't i'd be like i should have known okay but we're just going right off the bat red flag green flag okay green. first impression i say green, green right off the bat if it's a helicopter mom then we can deal with that later yeah if they have a photo like that do you think that it could be calculated they're like oh girls want to see this yeah i don't think they do because they love their mom i think they're like oh this makes me look like a family man may i just say i think men are getting smarter the fact that they know to text at 11 11 truly scared me deep down in my yeah car. that was scary they're on to us so i really so i could see it either way maybe they think they look good in that picture with their yeah. mom like maybe it's just a good photo of them like i wouldn't be like oh my god yes okay 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 i like a little mystery i'm gonna put red i want to know though between a picture with their mom and grandma and a gym selfie. Oh, okay, but I kind of like a gym selfie. I mean, I knew it. You a red flag yourself. Red. Uh, I'm a red flag. I already am like prepped for at one point in your life, you're going to date a mega douche and I just have to be ready for it. Oh, I have to be ready for it. Cal and I are just going to be like. Cal's going to be like, oh, really? <laughs> really but i'm prepped <laughs> for it i feel like you need to get it out of your system but here's the thing i'm very picky it cannot be too much it can't be too little like i just i i don't know okay we'll see we'll report back okay half cropped out women oh my god red flag you know what more so i don't care that they're like that they have photos with other girls for me i'm like you don't have a better photo like that's the only photo you have yeah i'm gonna say red too i'm like make a friend take a photo of you yeah i actually i don't know if i've ever seen a half cropped out like person yeah or even the emojis on other people's faces i'm like you couldn't have gotten a better photo yeah i the emojis are weird too 
any names <laughs> starting with J. My TikTok went viral. Did it? Yeah. You said red flag. I yeah. think, I mean, I give everyone a fair yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'll say both. I'll be realistic, but yes. I think it is a little worrisome that all the J names have formed a stereotype for themselves. I think there was just a wave in like the generations where there were a lot of J names. There had to have been. I mean, we should be, be very common. We should proceed with caution, but we're saying green flag. Ah, the fish photo. The fish I'm not, photo. I I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I will be on some, and this, maybe this is wrong of me. Maybe it's not. I will be on a guy's f- f- like profile and I'll be like, oh my God, hot. Yes. Everything's green flag, green flag, green flag, green flag. The last photo is them with a fish in like camouflage. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like red flag. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't know. This is wrong. I'm just judging people. I'm just going to say, um, if it's like a trout or like a freshwater fish, I have no interest. If you're deep sea fishing, that I find more interesting. So I would do more of a green flag if we've got some, some interesting kind of species yeah. that, you know, it's not, not our normal trout we're not doing like a catfish like I could go for that but ultimately I'm gonna go red on the fish photo but like no just like but they're they're outsmarting us with the 1111 <laughs> why aren't they catching on to the fish photo and the gym selfie because I know I mean a lot of girls do like that gym selfies <laughs> you I'm like a, a lot, lot of, of girls, girls like that I was supposed to be in the video <laughs> I okay, can't next one. I don't know that one. Any pics that oh, include green dogs. Flag. Green. Cal had a picture with him and puppies, green. and that's what made me sweat. Motherfucking flag. We love a puppy photo. They love animals. They have a big heart. Yes. So sweet. And I don't care if that's calculated. Good. I think <laughs> you know what'd be really good too. If you're a cat person, have a photo with you and a cat. Yes. If you're a dog person, you and a dog. Because do I'm not, not confuse people. Yes. I'm just. I'm not really a cat person. So hate the cats mostly because i'm horribly allergic but they are cute you are definitely allergic okay asks for your number right away i need at least an interaction at least like one i think if it's hey what's your number red flag yeah. if it's like a few back and forth and like hey i'm not really on the apps that much can we text then green flag okay next yeah one. oh men I in mean- general Red flag. <laughs> but we love men. <laughs> so, yay, pick me. We love that. Pick me, pick me. I'm not like other girls. I'm so different. Okay. A description that's extremely long. I told you, if it's a paragraph, I'm like, what are we doing? Yeah, red flag. Leave a little to the imagination. Yeah. Come on, man. All right just quote unquote just looking for friends i'm gonna say green flag because i appreciate the, the honesty, honesty. Yeah. but then also why are you on a dating app looking for friends red flag yeah you can't make friends anywhere else yeah <laughs> bumble bff why are you on hinge buddy <laughs> bumble BFF, bitch. for real i'm like <laughs> but if that raya thing is networking then i understand that overall green flag because they're being honest over overall don't be upset when he's a fuck boy, that's on you, bitch. Yeah. So I'm gonna say green flag. Yeah. <laughs> video games. <sighs> Playing video games. Rem, you better. I know you better say re- green. I feel conflicted on this. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say green. I'm gonna say green. Um, but to an extent, like yes. as as a hobby, yes. If it's encompassing every minute of the day red flag yeah but just as much as i love tiktok cal loves his video games and i've learned that so i also will say this having the stereotypical guy in my head who plays video games and plays 24 7 all day every day is a red flag for me absolutely yeah as long as they like treat it like a hobby and it doesn't encompass their life and it's something they do in their downtime to relieve stress or have fun also that's fine. i used to be a gamer okay she plays Mario Kart. I play Kingdom Hearts. Mm-hmm. You did? <laughs> yeah, that was my fucking shit. Damn. Is that Link? No. Oh. That's Sora. Sorry. Disney. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, next one. Good lighting oh, and Oh, yes. 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 Because you want to know why? Really, really bad lighting or a black square. I'm like, yo, you're going to kill me. There- <laughs> you watch too much Dateline, no, my friend. No, bitch. Tell me this guy is not going to kill me. I think good lighting and pics to a degree. Look at, if it's too good, it's a little bit of a red me, flag. Then it's a little, it screams a little narcissism if it's like diva ring light out or maybe other things. He no, said, that's weird. He said, oh yeah, these are just black squares. That's weird. He's, yeah. He's in a rose. 
No. Yeah, that's actually really scary. Yeah. That just screams probably catfish too. Not even because I feel like a catfish would just choose <laughs> random photos online. Um, good lighting and pics to a degree. Green flag. Too yeah. much. Red flag. I agree, but I'm more. If he's on the pulling green. his diva ring light out for the photos, bitch. Yeah. I'm just picturing like if they're all professional photos, I'm like, oh, you're just a model who's obsessed with himself, but like we'll entertain it. <laughs> <laughs> but like hot. But, like we'll do it. Do it. Boat pictures. Boat s- pictures. S- s- Alicia. Oh my God. What the fuck? Are they talking about my photo on, in Greece? What photo? The Greece group photo one. Which one? Remember the one where uh, you guys said I looked horrible and everyone else looked good? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I yes. That's what they're talking about. Wait, I don't get how that's a red flag or a green flag though. Because I looked bad and all my friends looked better. Apparently I thought I looked great. <laughs> well, I think if you post a photo where you look good and all your friends look bad, <laughs> which I did once and no one lets me live down it was an accident okay so to this i'm gonna say red flag because there were too many girls i was basically in a group oh, just a group photo yeah, too okay, big of yeah. a group photo oh, and I, I wasn't ready she wasn't ready i thought i was ready but i wasn't ready okay last one putting their intentions out there green, green. which is why i did green for the looking just for friends because yes that is a very like douchebag energy dbe dbe <laughs> Not to be confused with- I don't think it's even douchebag energy. Really? I personally don't because sometimes you just want to hook up with someone. I know, but to the girl who's like, I'm going to change him. I'm like, that's just a fuck boy. No, because as someone who was played, but played herself because (laughs) of this exact situation, looking back, I really did appreciate the honesty. I had to go through that on my own and not listen to them or myself or my real feelings and like put that- aside that I think that it was the right thing. I don't think it's a douchebag at all. Cause sometimes like, sometimes you just want to fuck. Yeah. And that's fine. As long as you tell the person exactly f- right from the get go, then there's nothing wrong. I think and the you have only to listen. problem, you have to listen. I think the problem is if like the person is like, Oh my God, no, it's fine. It's fine. Like I totally same thing. But like, you know, they're mm-hmm. just saying that mm-hmm. and you still do that. Then I think that's a little fucked up. Yeah. But all is well that ends well. We're here ending with the green flag. That is good. Good, good. All right, guys. Um, We hope we helped you with your dating apps. I truly don't know if we did it all. But that was really fun. Let us know if we can help you with anything else. And I want to know your guys' like, worst dating app story. Like, please send it in. I feel like next week or something we can like respond to some of them. Because I know I feel like I truly... We were asked um, when we went on the What We Said podcast. Yes. They're like, what are your crazy like date stories? Blah, 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 whatever. And especially like with dating apps, I feel like I haven't had anything too crazy. But I some of the things they were saying, I was shook by people i i still not over like the crazy stories that some of them endured but i would love to hear them too yeah do a whole episode just like reading them and reacting yes all right guys love you so much thank you for listening and we'll catch you next week bye love you bye